Dr. Bart Rope, looking for a cure for type 1 diabetes in 6 years. Hi and welcome to our channel. We recently covered this progress in a video reviewing how this inverse vaccine works to reprogram cells in the body of a diabetic to avoid an immune attack and to regenerate insulin in the body. The fascinating part of this vaccine his team is developing is the fact that as opposed to other therapies that introduce new or regenerated cells to the diabetic pancreas, Dr. Rope's therapy known as an inverse vaccine brings no new or foreign cells into the diabetic pancreas, thus avoiding the need for lifelong immune suppressant drugs to fight off any immune attack. Now my friends, what is so promising is that this process has not only yielded very positive results before the City of Hope became involved but the fact that Dr. Rope has been quoted as saying he thinks this will cure type 1 diabetes within 6 years. Now what struck me as interesting is the fact that usually, the medical community is very non-comital about timelines because they just can't tell how long it will take to make a breakthrough. The fact that Dr. Rope is so excited gives me great hope. That said, that quote is from 4 years ago. The clock is ticking. Through innovative research and collaboration, Dr. Rope and his team have identified key immune system targets that play a role in the destruction of insulin-producing cells. By targeting these specific immune cells, they aim to restore the body's ability to produce insulin naturally. For those living with type 1 diabetes, daily insulin injections and blood sugar monitoring can be a constant struggle. For the trial, Rope and his team took a patient's immune cells and manipulated them in a laboratory to become anti-inflammatory. They then loaded the cells with a fragment of insulin-producing beta cells from the pancreatic islets and added vitamin D3, which Rope said helped train the immune system to modulate inflammation. They then injected the modified immune cells back into the participants according to the City of Hope. The strategy acts as an inverse vaccine in that it will stop certain specific immune responses rather than activate them, as is done with, for example, flu vaccines, Dr. Rope stated. This was covered in a press release from City of Hope where clinical trials are now being conducted. I want to emphasize the difference in this type of therapy versus what others are working on, but would you mind hitting the like and subscribe buttons? This is very helpful to those working on this channel. As always, your help is much appreciated. Now, as we were saying, this concept of inverse vaccine is brilliant in my opinion. Many other trials are ongoing using one form or another of cell transplants from a donor pancreas. Still, other organizations are studying the efficacy of manufacturing cells in a lab and then transplanting those manufactured cells into the patient's diabetic pancreas. All show great potential and several have shown actual results in early-stage clinical trials, but the inverse vaccine will use the patient's cells to correct the disease if it's ultimately successful. By reprogramming the patient's cells to avoid immune response, the potential is there to not need all these drugs to suppress the immune system. By avoiding these immune drugs like the ones I have to take, patients will hopefully have no potential side effects that can come with a suppressed immune system. That's a topic for a future video. My friends, I hope you are as excited as I am about this inverse vaccine. Stage 1 clinical trials are now ongoing at the City of Hope in Los Angeles, California. I'm praying that with the success of the early trials in Europe, the process will prove efficacy quickly. By Dr. Rope's optimistic timeline, we could have a cure sooner rather than later. I will be watching closely over the next 12 months and report back with any news I can find out. Meanwhile, keep the faith, and thanks for watching today. We will talk again soon. Have a great day.